Miss Omar Samad, the former Afghan ambassador to Canada, France, and Belgium, joins me now from Washington, D.C. Uh, so how will the withdrawal impact Afghanistan's security situation? Well, uh, we, we need to be very clear at this point, it's not a withdrawal, it's an assessment that has been ordered so that the Pentagon uh, looks at what the options are, what is the best way to handle a pullout of some troops. Uh, we do not know uh, exactly how many uh, eventually will be pulled out, under what conditions, when, and how it relates to the peace process, the reconciliation talks. Uh, that have taken place uh, under the umbrella of, you know, that includes the United States and the Taliban and a few other countries, but does not yet include the rest of the Afghan representatives, political, social, uh, and otherwise, uh, including the Afghan government in Kabul. So uh, what we have right now is um, an indication by President Trump and a, and a demand that the Pentagon look into the options that are available. Mm -hmm. So the situation in Afghanistan has been in a stalemate for years. Do you think that this could create an opportunity for dialogue between the government and the Taliban? So the opportunity already exists uh, of dialogue between the United States, the Taliban. Just a few days ago uh, in uh, Abu Dhabi, there were discussions where the Saudis as well as the Pakistanis and the Emiratis were involved. There were two delegations that came from Kabul, uh, one uh, uh, which is a governmental delegation uh, supposed to be involved in talks with the Taliban, but the Taliban are not yet ready to talk to anybody else, whether it's government or non-government. Uh, they want to talk only to the Americans about withdrawal, but the Americans uh, want to talk about uh, issues that have to do with ending the conflict and agreeing to some kind of political arrangement where all the Afghans can gather uh, around the table and discuss the modalities and the terms for um, what would end up being a political settlement. So there are so many other steps that have to be uh, built up over time, including confidence building measures that include maybe ceasefires, maybe exchange of prisoners, uh, maybe the uh, uh, declassification of people who are on blacklists, et cetera, et cetera. So we're very much still at the beginning of a process that is still very young. Mm -hmm. What do you make of the timing of all of this uh, coming right after the U.S. president announcing um, pulling the U.S. out of Syria? Well, it's very interesting that uh, it seems to coincide with uh, the decision that was taken about Syria. Now, is there a relationship between this decision on Syria with the demand to look at options for Afghanistan to see what kind of withdrawal should and can take place? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, uh, how are they going to deal with terrorism? I think that one of the issues that's very much on people's mind, especially in Afghanistan, is how do you deal with those who resort and use violence against others in order to uh, impose their will? Uh, and terrorism is obviously an issue that crosses all kinds of boundaries. And so it needs responsible statesmanship. It needs responsible thinking, strategies that uh, can address the major issues. We can't leave Afghanistan just because we want to leave Afghanistan and then create a void and a vacuum, as was the case in the 1990s, that was filled by all kinds of terrorist organizations, including al-Qaeda and others, who then obviously used Afghanistan to attack others. So we cannot afford to make and repeat the mistakes of the past. All right, and we'll leave it there. Omar Samad, thank you for joining us today.